Um, first off, I'm going to start by introducing Jim Westfall. Uh, you can pull vehicles back there and he can be four vehicles deep. And his famous saying is, hey Jim, you got, you got time to do this? Got two hands, two legs, don't I? And man, I tell you, I, I couldn't be prouder to call that guy my teammate. Come on up here, buddy. We have a field service engineer rep that we work hand in hand with a lot. Dan works with him. And he, he has told me he's, he can argue that he is one of probably the top three technicians in the nation. And, and it shows, because we use Dan a lot. Um, we kind of still consider him our shot foreman. Uh, anybody can go to him and, and he can figure it out. But he's extremely passionate about what he does. It was just yesterday or the day before he came in my office, sat down and said, what can I do to get better? I just want to make sure I'm always getting better. And you know, he looked me dead in the eye and he's like, you know I'm going to do whatever it takes. He does a hell of a job and is a huge team player and we really, really appreciate that. I got, just real quick here, um, I got a letter from Ford back in February and Arnold is a senior master Ford technician. Um, he is one of 434 technicians in the Chicago region with that status. So he is, uh, he's one of a kind. This guy is an interesting one. <laughs> Every shop needs a Denver hutter. Denver is, Denver is the guy that makes sure everybody else is up, right? And you're, you're always the guy telling jokes, your quote movie lines that fit the perfect moment. I think people like to come to work because they get to work with you. He came in and, and caught on extremely fast. Looking forward to seeing you continue to grow with us uh, because it's we're going to grow our used car volume like crazy. 2020 is going to be a big year. And we're going to continue to push you. So uh, congratulations, man! First time BV. Brett is a he's a stud. He first one there, last one to leave. He he keeps us keeps the shop moving. You could say he's always got uh, just good spirits and, and keeps the team rolling and and we're very fortunate to have him. Uh, Mike is the first guy in. Mike is the last guy out. Mike is the guy when he has a mountain of shit and all service advisors know what that is, right? You've got so much going on. There's so much going on throughout the day. All that stuff goes aside and you're the one-on-one -on -one person he's working with. And he does it day in and day out. Uh, you know, talking with Nate, Every day he comes in, he's got a great attitude, he's got a plan. He has an idea of what he's going to do, uh, what he's going to work on that day. So it really uh, really shows in his work and uh, awesome job, Nate. I'm just really proud of Jared and where you've come uh, and the time you've been here. So congratulations. Uh, Jesse's uh, he's kind of a diamond in the rough, you could say. He's, he's a machine. Uh, model of consistency and performance and effort and constantly growing and learning. Unbelievable technician, skill level wise, effort wise, always at the top of the board. Steven always gets it done and uh, he's the man. Um, hell of a job, Lucky man, proud of you. Third time at BBB and um, uh, doing, doing an awesome job, so congrats. It just, he, he really helps. Everybody looks for him, uh, you know, up to him, looks for him to help. And he does. He just steps in there. So awesome job, Shane. He's just an absolute wealth of knowledge. And for all of you guys that know Nick, he's willing to jump in and help out at any moment, whether it's sales or a customer. And he's just an awesome person to have on the team. So excited to see what he can do going forward. And really, where do you start with John? The guy's a monster. Never seen any bail, anybody be able to delegate so many or handle so many things and balance so many things all at once. And then we went through a transition period at Paul, first part of the year, where we had some advisor turnover. And John was really doing the job about two or three people on his own. He's just, he's, he's great. He keeps uh, things moving, so come on up, Jeff. Keith is a leader. I don't think he realizes sometimes that he's a leader, but uh, when someone has a question, we have a lot of young techs in our shop, and I will find those techs in his bay, him in those techs bay, and doesn't ask for anything more, doesn't ask for anything less, he just wants to show those guys the ropes and that's why the future is really bright it's because of guys like you man. and I'm proud to call you my teammate. Come on up here man. John you are appreciated and thanks for all the work that you do. Like I said a dual threat, a seasoned pro and a role model for anybody at the key service department. He's been at the BBB all three years so we've had the banquet. The absolute friggin monster works his tail off. And we sold these two jobs because you know what I'm gonna do. Kevin I'm coming in I'm gonna stay late tonight I'll be here till six o'clock tonight then I'm gonna come in tomorrow. I'm gonna, if I have to stay late to do this job, let's close this job out 
and let's get this in the books. And we beat Gold by 500 bucks. And that was because of you coming in late, busting your ass, and just believing in yourself, man. It was aw it's awesome, awesome watching, brother. I just want to take one second to say that we are all a team, but it takes a good leader to make a team. And this guy is the best. Get out of here. Get out of here. Thank you. And it's that drive and, and these accomplishments that everybody looks up to. So I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I am so appreciative of what you do. And I know that people coming up in the industry are looking to you to show them the way. You guys are doing the right thing, you're leading by example, and I thank you very much from the bottom of my heart.